How's it going everyone? My name is Silver. Welcome back to the channel and today's today guys I got episode 2 and 3 of Card Fight Vanguard V series. That's right guys I have finally sat down from my delusional sickened state and actually been able to watch Card Fight Vanguard V <coughs> and I actually really enjoyed these two episodes. So we're going to break them down, I'm going to talk about them, give my review, and at the end, or somewhere at some point, give a rating of both these episodes on a scale of 1 to 10 V, or imaginary gift marks. Yeah, I'm sort of making this up as I go along as I do every episode. <clears throat> Alrighty, so the episode opens up with our grade zeros in episode 2 of Aichi Sendo, which I'm really, really loving the symbolism, again, like, how the show is taking notes from its original series, but at the same time taking stuff from its older series and being like, yo, we got you. So, it's really important. I have Band Dream Girl up on the side. I'm hoping that not too much is happening or it loads. I'm just actually going to shut off so the game hopefully goes to sleep. All right, so, yeah, so it starts off with Aichi, hair, dog, beast, and Kai's green eyes and sort of facial expression. <clears throat> Again, great and great episode. Um, we continue forth. It just sort of exactly picks up where we left off with them getting ready to card fight and everyone gathering around that remains. Um, Kai goes over the basic steps. This is very similar to the first two episodes. These first two episodes are very similar. To the very first two, we ride Bar. He explains the whole attack. Aichi then rides, plays Wingull, and he attacks. He figures out boosting super early on. We also get to see all the triggers, the critical, the draw, the heal, and the front trigger. And sadly, no stand trigger. Eventually, I will run a deck with all five triggers just to be that la 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 la. Um, but moving forth, this is what we see. They are explaining triggers, and this comes at a point when Aichi is drawing a trigger. So Aichi calls, and I really love what they do. They did a whole line thing where this intersected into the 8K and then attacked Kai's vanguard. Kai then guarded after attacking Aichi and letting Aichi get to 2 damage. Showing Aichi by damage, we have Red Carbuncle. One thing I really, really am loving about this season, and I hope they continue, is that each of the units talk, and they have unique voices. I have yet to hear two have the same voice. It is so beautiful. They respond to the units, the vanguards giving command. They'll be like, it's simple, but it's like, yes, my vanguard, and so on and so forth. But it's so nice. It's something different. Barkle does his little icer. And they thank their vanguard. Yes, my vanguard. It's just so beautiful. So Kai guards. Um, he explains the whole critical trigger thing. As Aichi, if I remember, gets... Oh yeah, this was the interception of the episode. Um, Aichi gets a critical there, I think. Um, and then Aichi's just like reminiscing. Bringing up the memories. And Kai says, I remember you, Aichi. Which sort of is different, but not entirely Kai in the original Vanguard Season 1 sort of was like, oh yeah, I slightly remember you, but not really. And then later on he says, oh yeah, but I only wanted you to play Vanguard so I could beat you in a way those bullies never could. And everyone says, oh man, that's really harsh, dude. In reality, it's probably the truth. Aichi needed to step up his game and this is bothering me. Like, I know it's probably bothering some of you, but yeah. And then he's like, so yeah, back then I remember how beaten you were. So yeah, he gives him Blaster Blade and they're just reminiscing. And I want I brought this image up purposely because I wanted to show Kai, Miwa, and Ibuki. They brought Ibuki in the original show. It wasn't forced. They showed him as a kid. It's just beautiful. Look at, look at, he has his silver hair. He, he, he plays Royal Paladin. Look at he plays Royal Paladin. Don't know when you picked up Kagero, but he played Royal Paladin. He played Royal Paladin. He gave, he gave his Blaster Blade to him. He gave his Blaster Blade to him. And they're all stuck in an eternal struggle. 
he will eventually become a asshole and play Link Choker. Which is very evil. Very bad. Smack. Um, and then Kai rides a grade 3 while Aichi's at grade 1. Completely different, by the way. So this is where similarities sort of end and the show starts diverging in its own unique path. We see the imaginary gift mark. Um, and he's just Onslaught. And look at, like this. So Epo and says, Are you well, my Vanguard? It's just, oh, the beauty of this show. He attacks again to the grade one. He's ice twin drive. They explain what twin drive is. So they completely cut out a whole arc and everything about grade threes and their twin drives. Or not arc, but I guess episode. It was at least one episode. Um, and then, yeah, Kai's just obliterates a unit. That's what this is. If you can't tell, there's some rock. Um, it was a little late, but screenshots are screenshots. <coughs> so it says, oh, wow. It's 56,000. Aichi ha just barely had enough to guard. Nope, let's just obliterate your three shields. And he's at five damage, which again, this is cutting out a whole episode by having Aichi have grade threes already, which is really nice. Um, And then he gets Apuna, so I kind of saw this coming, being I've seen the original show. He gets Apuna as a guard trigger and survives the damage. And he did that in the first season. He did it this season pretty fine. Um, and yeah, it's just continuous back and forth. He's just imagining. He's motivating himself up. I love this art. I, I'm going to probably go back, get this one image, still image, without the text there. And I want this to be a mat. But he's like, it's just imagine yourself become, imagination will become your strength. He draws Blaster Blade. Shocker! He drew Blaster Blade! And then he assembles almost the entire original cast besides Marin. And it's like, time to kill Overlord because that's what Blaster Blade I supposedly does. He activates his skill. And he's like, lend me your power. And they're like, yes, sir. And again, they all talk, so it's really nice. And then... Aichi's just being like, oh, friendliness, and Kai wants to shatter that reality, so he does that. Just so happens to be the transition shot. And then Aichi gets a drive trigger with a critical. And Miwa's like, oh, it's five damage. He still don't win. But store manager's like, nope, you take six, because blaster blade skill. And then this is something else I wanted to point out. Something I really, really like. This show, this whole series is sticking to its roots and or not roots but sticking to what the end of g was doing where your grade three is your final damage like this is this is kai's main card his avatar his persona his alter ego and it was his final six damage because he has one there two three four five six that's how he loses the game uh, Aichi goes home really happy. Emmy's like, oh, what's the smile? I just really like Emmy as a character, so we got her adorableness here. Kai shows back up. He's like, you want to play today? Which is similar to how the first two episodes ended, but we won't ever see that fight, and we haven't seen this one, so we probably won't. And that's how that sort of ends. It's just as, um, that was ordered wrong, but... Aichi's mom made a comment about her girlfriend just a little bit before that. And that's all of episode, um, all of the first, or episode two, which I honestly wrote this episode a seven and a half. I knew how it was going to end. I knew what was going to happen. So yeah, really nice. If we move along and we come to season three, a little bit less screenshots, but for its reason, it opens up. Pretty standard, Aichi, uh, oh god, Miwa and Kai just all talking and chilling. Emmy's spying on him because he's worried. Again, this is cutting out so much in-between stuff that we probably didn't need. Storm Manager comes back, he starts interrogating poor little Emmy, and, um, yeah, Emmy just says, oh, hi, I'm adorable. Yeah. Um, she makes a comment about him acting ugly to her mom. She says, ah, nah, you got this. And then Kamui shows up, because 
Kamui wants to be a cocky little asshole. You too could have your Kamui t-shirt. Um, that, I don't know why I said that. I'm so tired, I'm sorry. So yeah, I, he's like, he wants to fight everyone, so he fights, he beats Miwa, which we can get a little bit of a glimpse of his stuff here. And the back of the gift marker, I really hope we get that, and not just a cheap Vanguard logo. Please, Bushiro, do not. Mess us over like you did with stride units. Okay, so he beats Miwa. Kai then throw Ice G under the bus, and we get uh, Turbo Razor and Aichi's dog. He's surprised. This is just all. It was very standard. I really did like this episode. So they're having their fight, grade one, grade two, back and forth. And yeah, then it's just back and forth for a bit. <coughs> uh, managers being creepy and teaching Emmy how to play. Little by little. And then Kamui realizes Aichi's attitude and persona is changing to match who he really is when he plays. He rides Alfred early. Again, removing the whole point of, oh, why is uh, Misaki teaching Aichi this? So we won't be seeing that, which I really like. You get Alfred early. Alfred early activates his imaginary gif. It attacks the Great 2, doing a lot of damage. Kamui gets the draw trigger. And will eventually perfect guard. Rides perfect razor. Again, this is meant to be a boss unit that was later in the series. So him having it this early, I'm really hoping that when the next time Nova Grappler gets support, we get a better, more refined razor boss unit. Which we might not get, I don't know yet. So yeah, he's all set and raring to go. He activates his Excel gift mark, which is unique and shows off its new potential. Um, Blaster Blade Guards, which is something else we didn't really see a lot in the series. Aichi always tried to keep Blaster Blade on the field. Really nice. Um, it, Aichi gets up to four damage, or five damage. He, and then he guards the attack with two Epinas. And he thanks them, and they say, yes, my Vanguard. Sort of repetitive on the whole yes, my Vanguard thing, but they leave. And then Kamui loses. He just straight out loses. It was just a fight. Uh, their first fight in the original series, Kamu won. Aichi only had one grade three at the time. So this fight was slated to be very different if they were adding in grade threes to Aichi's deck from right out the get-go. Which is fine. I'm fine with that. I'm um, very interesting overall. I do love this fight. Um, And then the whole big brother thing arises. Yeah, I, Kamui was scared. Um, for whatever reason, Masaki doesn't really understand how to play. She understands the basic rules, but doesn't know how to play. Uh, Shin picks on her, wants to, he asks, do you want to learn? She's like, no, blushes and walks away. And then, again, the adorable Emmy just says, please teach me Vanguard. And all I have to say is, yes, Emmy, we will teach you Vanguard. Uh, and then Storm Manager Shin does a solid for the young Kamui. He says, oh, you're both in grade school, huh? How about you, teacher, instead of the creepy Miwa? And they're both blushing, so I'm hoping that this will be, I guess, the concrete relationship. It's not so much one-sided This in the V-series. I hope it actually blooms into something really unique and cool. But overall, I really did like this episode. It was a bit different. It actually kept me on the edge of my toes while watching it. And I really couldn't say who the winner is. I honestly thought Kamui would have won. But he didn't. So um, it was nice. It was, a little, it was nice to have a little bit of a curveball thrown at me. I mean, I sort of had a feeling Aichi might win. But I still thought Kamui was the stronger competitor. So on this, I'm going to rate this an 8.5 out of 10 imaginary gifts. Excel gifts this episode. Honestly, both episodes were beautiful. And I love them both. And I really hope you guys did enjoy this. And I hope you come back to see next week's episode, which should either be tomorrow night or Sunday night. I haven't decided yet. Until next time, I've been the Soul Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.